The latest update for Automobilista 2 has been getting a lot of attention. You've probably seen dozens of videos about it at this point. On a whim though, yesterday I decided I wanted to try the IndyCars Online. I've done a decent amount of offline oval racing and gave some of my initial thoughts of that in a video earlier this week. But I had a hunch that these cars would be really fun against other human opponents, so I put up an open server and got a random crowd to come in and join. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite as easy or straightforward as we all wanted it to be, having numerous issues along the way, but we were able to get one really good race that I thought I would want to clip out and share. If you are interested in seeing the full four hour live stream where we try to work through a bunch of issues and have a few races along the way, I'll put that in the description of the video. Just remember it's a random group of folks that came together with very little practice or preparation and still put on an awesome race like this. So let's get into it. All right, I got moving though. Green flag. Oh my God, are we actually gonna start? Looks like Jackson's crabbing a little bit. Hey! We actually gotta start. And uh, see if we can get a nice little race going. Ooh, there's two in front, con. Clark here wants to go for the win on the first lap. It's a 50 lap race. We're gonna have to make a pit stop at some point. It's a lot of time to uh, sort things out. Jackson's gonna dip below me here. Oh, there's body work all over the track, and one car crashed on the bottom. That's not as bad as it could have been, maybe. I think I've got Jackson on my left side still. Yeah, I can see him. I got a little more view than you do to the left and right. I'm understeering a little bit. Full bars, though. I've actually got the, uh, the setup reset. All right, Jackson got around. Ooh, there was a car below me. I should have put on crew chief. I gotta remember to do that before the first, uh, the next race. Yeah, I don't have a spotter, which is... I mean, AMS2 doesn't have a spotter built in, which would be another nice enhancement. But at least we have crew chief, which is super easy to get running. Uh, I just didn't turn it on. The chat can spot, right? There's definitely no delay in the chat. All right, back up to third. I've got Jackson going on the low side of Mr. Pizza Sub combo. We have just cars stopped on the low side for some reason. They all trying to crawl back to the pits. move for second here maybe It'd be better if we all just work together and pull away from this pack behind but yeah the fake Penske here is gonna go for the lead I'm able to stick with these two but I, I think they're a bit quicker than me um, if I if I got out front they would pretty easily jump by slow on the low side. I'll go to the high side then. Jackson's going to tow me along. Alright, made it up to second. We'll tow along with Jackson. He's super quick. I think he's got that car dialed in really well. Let's see if I can stick with him though. feel like you're racing blind a bit with <laughs> without a spotter yeah I'm like I'm kind of slow I wonder if it's the extra front wing that I have 
leapfrogged there for a second. It was interesting. He kind of came back to me for a second. This is good so far. This is fun. This is exactly what I want. You know, just like nice slipstream racing. I wish the AI raced like this. If uh, anybody from Rise is watching, this is this is what we should get. We strive for this type of. It's kind of single file, but you can make moves. But you get penalized if you make a move because now you don't have a slipstream anymore. You definitely aren't going three wide very often. It's very. Uh, it's kind of like high speed chess. I did a video a long time back with with some stuff in AC where I called it 250 mile per hour chess because that's kind of what it is. The racing itself, you're going super fast, but it's slow, really thought out racing. All right, we got a car coming out of the pits and he's gonna blend right up in front of us. This is gonna make things interesting. Hopefully he just stays high. I'm gonna slide up a bit. Car gets a bit dodgy. I got one car right behind me. Oh, it's O's. Oh, and I scrape the wall. He's gonna go by on the inside then. I don't think I have any damage. We do have it on low damage, so it's a little more forgiving. Yeah, you do, like, so if, for folks that don't really know oval racing, um, especially in indie cars and at this track, uh, racing against the low side seems like the obvious choice because it's the shortest route, but you scrub off more speed down there. So if you, if you go higher, you don't have to scrub off as much speed, and there's definitely a balance to that. In real life, they actually race quite high up, maybe a lane higher than we're doing here. But it's pretty, this is pretty accurate. I think the car handling and stuff is quite good now. Um, you know, you can slide them maybe a little bit more than I would expect. Oh, he's slow there. What was that about? We almost made contact. We are going to go three wide on the front straightaway here. Oh, man. Yeah, I know that's Austin. <laughs> What happened to him there? He kind of backed off suddenly. I'll turn on the uh, I'll turn on the spotter for the next race. Well, we're not really shifting, and maybe he's shifting, but I'm not shifting. I just kind of want to ride right now. We're only on lap 14. So there's quite a lot of, of time to go. This is good though, so we learned some stuff today. Maybe don't have practice sessions. Uh, there is no traditional qualifying, so do maybe a longer qualifying session instead. And then don't run formation laps. And even then, the start was kind of weird, but we got away with it this time. Speed is in kilometers per hour, which I, I doubt, I have no idea if that's actually what teams would report it in, but I have the game set to do miles per hour. I'm almost certain in real life these cars would have had miles per hour on the dash. Uh, so it would be cool to get miles per hour there, because I, I know it's a little more relative to me. I, I mean, I know now, like, 400 is fast <laughs> in these cars, but in real life, I know, like, those speeds, like, 240, 250, they just make a little more sense to me in indie racing, so it would be nice to get that. Got a Foyt car there on the low side. There's a lot of really slow cars, and they're behaving themselves, which is very nice. But I've leapfrogged myself to second here, and I'm actually poised here to go for the lead into turn one. Why not go to the low side, right against the white line. We'll try to get the wheel straightened out and just take the whole track coming out of turn two. And we'll lead at least down the back straightaway. Jackson might get a run back for turn number three. down a little bit. I don't know how aggressive I can be, though. Right, number 
two on the low side, sweep in behind. Like the Forsyth car, the green team green car behind got a uh, some wash there. I'll dive to the low side though. I can pretty much drive this car anywhere. I mean, it tells me I probably have a bit too much downforce on it as it is, but I think I'm nearly trimmed out. I let a lap. Finally. All right, we got a lap car coming up. We could use him as a slipstream then. <laughs> He's gonna pull way to the inside, all right. I've got Jackson right on my outside. I don't think I have mapped right now the buttons to look side to side, which would be nice. Especially without a spotter, but he jumps in front. So we've got a nice little pack going here. It's going to be interesting with the pit stop, how that works out for all of us. Uh, if we all happen to pit and then come out and rejoin like this, it'll be a miracle. But I think we've got a pack of four of us right now up front here. Oh, Jackson on the low side, maybe. Getting right up behind another car seems like it wouldn't do anything. In a stock car, you know, they bump drafts, they push each other, but getting behind another car in real life would take a little bit of air off the rear wing of their car. And uh, in a straight line, it would speed them up. On a corner, it may make them unstable. But to the effect that these cars had with that, I don't know if... Uh, they're really affected by things like that. I imagine they would, would be a bit. Now, I don't need to save fuel at all. I mean, we're gonna make a pit stop no matter what. Um, now, the question is, should I take tires? Samuel, I use a, a Fanatec, or Fanatic, however you wanna say it, uh, CSL. So it's a little bit older at this point. CSL Elite, Ooh, car in front hit the wall. He's able to keep control of it. Uh, but I have a bunch of different wheel rims for it. I absolutely love it. At some point, I'll upgrade to direct drive, but I don't really feel like I need any rush to get there whenever this one wears out. All right, we got a very slow car on the bottom. Mr. Lasagna there missing a rear wing. All right, but I'm in the lead now. I think Jackson's still on the high side. I'm just kind of keeping track of which cars are around me, and if I don't see one of them, I think I have to assume they're next to me. He actually led that lap, so we're neck and neck. It is uh, long green racing because there's no yellow flags right now, but um, I think I think there would have been a lot of caution flags if, if we had those on. So I'd rather it be like this. If you're doing a league race or something, though, where everybody's, you know, very well practiced and had time to prepare, then you could probably run with cautions. Four of them behind me. Oh, Drago's along with me. He's in the, the green car. Or the team green car. The <laughs> it's so confusing. It's team green, it's a blue car. Jacques Villeneuve's car. Jackson's gonna come back on the high side. Kevin Lasagna is just gonna continue doing laps down there with no wings. screen at least he looked like he was coming onto the track that was very frightening all right breathe everybody breathe a bit we're just past halfway so 20 laps 27 laps in and uh we got 50 gallons to go so we've used about 80 gallons so far or 80 liters whatever it's in um 
so we need 80 liters from here. So I gotta add about 30, maybe 35 to the tank. Now the question is, should I take tires? And uh, I feel no issues with the tires at all. I don't have the tire gauge on, but I may forego taking tires just to save that. Slipstreaming with Jackson here, though, to the low side, really close. I don't know how close you can get just with online and the ping and everything. Whoa, that was bad. That's what I get for looking at the chat. All right, car seems straight still. I'm getting away with low damage. The high damage, max damage mode that they have in this is truly very realistic. Like, that would have ripped the whole wheel off the side, which is cool to see. It would be really impressive to get a group that can handle that um, in, like, a league or something. Uh, I have it on miles per hour, but it shows kilometers per hour for whatever reason on the dash. It just always shows that. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know why the Reynard. Oh, we got somebody stopped in the in the pit lane entrance there. I don't know why the front wings on the Reynard are negative dihedral. I assume there's some aero benefit, or they thought there was for that. But yeah, I don't know. So I gotta look at. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this because it's probably under my face. But I'll look at my pit stop strategy. So I think I'm gonna go without tires. I, I don't know how much longer it would take to do tires as Jackson sweeps back into the lead there, but maybe I'll just put like 50 liters in, which is probably more than I need. But looks like we lost one or two cars. So maybe some folks have already pit. <laughs> yeah, bigger numbers, more faster for sure. Jackson and I are, we should work together a bit more. I don't know if he's listening to me at all, but we're gonna, if uh, Austin went to the pits with, who else were we racing with? One other driver up here. If they are, you know, are gonna slipstream together, then we're gonna lose out. We'll see, so we got Wolf here. I mean, the reason I want there to be miles per hour is because I'm, I'm almost positive that's always what IndyCars have used. So it would make sense, but I've spent my time around simulators long enough. I, I can, I know the difference. <laughs> I know at a hundred kilometers per hour is yeah. Austin pitted. Um, I got quite a lot of fuel and I mean, I can kind of stretch it. Oh, there goes Jackson in the pits. So maybe I'll pit on the next lap. I don't want to be alone because I'm going to lose a ton of time if somebody else finds a drafting partner. So it might be better for me to pit. And uh, my pit, request my pit stop. So I'm going to try to pit this time around. Fingers crossed I can get to the pit lane without crashing. And uh, we're going to put a little bit of fuel in, no tires, and see where that puts me. we got one car in the wall ahead out of the gas for the first time in like forever all right a little conservative on the uh, on the entry there but I just want to make sure I don't speed looks like I've got maybe the first pit stall here there we go all right in the pits I didn't tell him to change tires we're bouncing a bunch all right that's a quick pit stop so it should be uh, we'll see where I come out compared to everybody You want, you want AMS2 to be in knots. Hey, whatever works for you, whatever. There's no wrong unit of measurement. All right, let's try to get on the track without spinning out. Just keeping an eye on who's going past and uh, how this is all gonna work out. Right against the white line. I think I've got the penalty on if you cross it too soon. All right, I got a blue flag. to sixth gear back on the track same tires 
Just a little bit more fuel, should be able to easily make it to the end now. Yeah, I was a little slow on the entrance, but the exit was perfect, I think. Not perfect, but it was good enough. Nobody to slipstream with, and I see a couple cars up there. I definitely see a Penske up there, but I don't know where anybody is. Looks like we have some penalties for folks. We have one car that's in the lead. So there's two cars in front of me, but they both have a penalty. I wonder if it's pit lane speeding or exiting. I mentioned this in a couple videos, but it's that's one of the tough things in oval racing. And I mean, it seems silly that you would focus so much on the pit stop, but getting in and out of the pits is takes a lot of practice. I think that's underrated as far as oval driver skill goes. It's it's big on road racing too. You always heard about like Michael Schumacher's in and out laps being so good, and that's why he was able to just do so well and they always monitor that in f1 races but i'd argue that it's more significant in oval racing because the, the margin of error is so small uh oh it wants me to pit for tires well we're not definitely not going to do that you know the margin of error in oval racing and the you know, how close you are is so small that any little bit the one second is huge in oval racing AI took over your car? <laughs> Why? That's weird, Jackson. Well, I hope you, uh, that was a lot of fun, so hopefully you can get into the next one if you're still going to be around. Oh, it looks like Mr. Lasagna, his team came through and fixed, fixed the car. So hopefully I don't blow a tire or something, because it's telling me to pit for tires. But we only got nine laps, eight laps to go sitting in fourth place um, I've got a couple in front but they may have the penalty just from oh, steel reserves in the pits all right so I should get at least that position will get me into third uh, the tires definitely feel a bit worn it's not quite as straightforward to go flat out even alone now I can feel them kind of skid up the track which is cool Steel Reserve out of the pit, so he was quite far behind, but he, uh, he stayed out for a while. Lincoln 66 coming out. Mama Bear. Do anything silly, I'll go low side. There we go. Oh, Hammond is in the pit, so it's... O's is the only one... I think that's the car that I just saw going into the corner. We were racing, so Oz is actually a, a developer with Ryza. And I'm five seconds behind, but they have a 10 second penalty. So I think I'm gonna win if, uh... Yeah, I think I will win if, if that works like I think it will. <laughs> I don't really care about winning necessarily. This is a ton of fun though. That first stint was awesome. I win, it's rigged. Oh. I was nowhere in the last HRRC race. I finished like a minute, 15 seconds behind the two winners. It's definitely not rigged. Well, looks like it's going to be pretty quiet here to the finish, but I, I just got to make sure I don't lose time to... Uh, O's. Yeah, if my tires make it, you're right. I don't know if there's tire failures, so I might be kind of winning on a technicality if that's the case. I fell back like a second last lap, though. We'll increase.
increase the weight jacker a bit. I'm understeering. <laughs> I get that extra boost. You're right. All right, I lost a tenth. I am losing time. I wonder if Booz has a slipstream or not. But yeah, I don't know how to show you my tires after the race. I would be interested too, but. What do I think of Fontana changing to a short oval? I hate it. <laughs> I think it's such a... It's, it's a disappointment because it really rules out Indy ever going back. And this track, I, even for NASCAR, I think is it's unique now. I mean, you have Michigan, but they're different, Michigan, in this track. Michigan has a bit more banking. Yeah, so I think it's just... I don't have accelerated tire wear on, so doing 50 laps on a set of tires, I mean, that's a long time, but it doesn't sound impossible. But I think uh, we might be on the last lap now, or there's two to go. But yes, very spread out. I'm 7.2 seconds back, so I am actually losing time. I think there's a lap car up there, so I'm going to make sure I don't lose these last three seconds. Yeah, they. I think they are going to change it. They've started tearing down the grandstands. Um, so I think NASCAR has one race left at this version of the track before they actually reconfigure it. But they've started tearing down the grandstands down here towards turn one. <laughs> There's always going to be that person that comes in and gives you their opinion even though you didn't ask for it. So come around, so I think I won. Doesn't really matter, but it was a lot of fun. I'm so happy we actually got the race in, finally. Cross the line. There it is, I win. <laughs> but great racing with Austin there, with O's, Jackson, Mako Hart, that was the other driver that was there with us. Really fun.